P, because if he goes to shit, he's gonna take a while. <laughs> I don't know, and I see him like going by the library at first. Oh my gosh, he's picking up of mice and men. It's gonna be a while. <laughs> Let's just hope that when he wipes, he doesn't start wiping gently, but faster and harder, more for oh! <laughs> So there, I, I, spoiler alert, I guess. Spoiler alert on that. Keep it going for Mike Ortiz, everyone! Yeah. You know, I never noticed until, uh, I guess that's been, I haven't seen that show since I was a kid. And I haven't noticed, like, how pedophilic those, that theme song was. I mean, what the fuck? That sounds like those, like those Japanese love dolls. That, oh, Lord. That is, and by, and by love dolls, I mean fuck dolls, you know? And, and by fuck dolls, I mean the perfect wife. But. <laughs> That's an upscrabble man, see? You can use that. that. You get a double word score for that one, okay? Yeah, yeah. You do. But, uh, yeah, no, you're, you're talking about your wife, and, you know, three months in, and you're still excited. Hasn't gotten old yet. Oh, that. Oh, oh it was, I didn't care what you said at first. Like, you used, like, some fancy word. I'm like, shit. It's like, it's like his cousin who felt sorry for him. I was like, no, that's really, yeah. holy cow, how, how do you get, man, you must be swinging some pipe, okay? <laughs> man, all right. Mike. All right. Three months and he's still excited. I can see why now. Because are you still excited? Or are you, are you like, you know, going into uh, the rec room at night with your small wonder? I don't know. <laughs> Made of plastic and Fantasia. No, I'm still excited. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, actually, I've married three years, and, and I'm still excited. I'm still, I still, I still remember the first time I, I met my wife, my, my beautiful Willie Mae. I call her Boo, not because she's black, but because she's goth. Boo. Remember, I met her at a, I actually met her at a goth rock concert. I remember, this is like right away. Our, our eyes locked in on each other. Which it really wasn't difficult because you're we like the only two brown people there. <laughs> but man, she's so, so beautiful. She had a face like Lauren Hill before she went crazy, <laughs> a body like Nicki Minaj, and a mohawk like the drummer from Green Day. <laughs> See, and, and I mentioned Green Day in honor of the Olympics, so say sing with a fake British accent. Uh, but only two people in here heard Green Day besides me. Yeah. Don't want to be an American idiot. So instead, I'll sound like a British poser. <laughs> like, well, you're, you're, from, you're from the East Bay. But, uh, so, oh, Lily Mae, she was, she, was, she was so beautiful. She really was. She had a lot of junk in her trunk. Wait, got it politically correct. She had a lot of junk in her coffin. She scoffed after. I mean, when I describe the goth scene, some people get confused because they, you know, they, they, they see like the big high heel boots, they see the makeup, and they think it's a gay thing. And you know, there's a difference between gay and goth. Granted, there's a, there's a fine line between the two, and often it's a line of coke. But there is a difference nonetheless. And we even had, a, we even had a, a, our own little gothic wedding out at the cemetery on, a, on North Main in Auburn. Man, oh, we even had it. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing, a gothic wedding. Cause <coughs> immediately, you you double your wardrobe, twice as many boots, twice as much eyeliner, twice, twice as much jewelry. It's a good deal. Twice as many corsets. But uh, we even we even signed a traditional gothic prenuptial agreement. Okay, technically it was a suicide pact, but <laughs> basically the same idea. So, uh, I, I, okay, you're out of the bathroom now, so I can ask you, Spider-Man fan, did you vote? Did you vote? That is the question of the year. DC or Marvel? Marvel. You know, fuck the whole Obama Romney thing. It's about DC or Marvel, Marvel. all right? Marvel. That's a real class warfare. Marvel. You vote down with Marvel. Marvel. No wonder you took so long in the bathroom. Right? <laughs> that explains how Spider-Man. So, have you been keeping up with the new Spider-Man? The, the the ultimate spider yeah the, for those of you who don't know uh, a year ago Marvel they needed a new Spider-Man what made this this uh, this man so amazing is that he is half black half Latino 
somehow that's uh that's more um, that's more impressive than being half human, half spider. <laughs> Half black, half Latino. Or as Sarah Palin would put it, um, half anchor baby, half secret Muslim. <laughs> but half black, half Latino, there's nothing new about that. Back in the day, we called them Puerto Ricans. Oh. Love you, Mike. <laughs> they, where do you think the pipe came from? Come on. You know. <laughs> Let's be real about it. But I'm thinking, that, that right there, that new Spider-Man, his birth, I think, would make for an interesting, an interesting episode of Maury. I don't see that episode of Maury. You got some pissed off Latino over there. Yeah, I'm gonna prove that the baby daddy, that Black Panther, T'Challa, King of Wakanda, that the baby daddy right there. It's 100%. Well, it's either him or the the spider that lives in my bedroom. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, I was going to mention something else, I was going to mention, don't forget, we also do the comedy open mic the second Friday of every month, so if you got some good jokes, you can want to make people laugh, comment up, or if you just have like some severe emotional trauma, like the last, were you guys here for the last one, for the last open mic? The weekend before she got married. Okay, oh, okay. Yeah. Ooh, oh, yeah, with, oh, I, the last one was a lot much happier one, it was a much, it was a very happy open mic. But with some very, it was a very special open mic. It was like, it was like the Olympics of comedy. It, it, you, you had it. Totally. <laughs> yeah. See, so y'all ready for your next comic? Woo!